Hey, Jeremy, are you unable to join? Can you request to join? I just sent you an invite. Let me try that again. Okay, hold on, accept. What's up, man? Hey. What's up, man? Hey, how are you? I'm good, good. How are you doing? I'm good. Good morning. Good morning or good evening. <laughs> uh, not quite. Uh, yeah, not quite? right about. Yeah, okay. it is 6.30, okay. so we're good. Oh, all right on. So, uh, Okay, 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 okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, another day on planet Earth. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Austin said, Jeremy, I think he's on cruise. Is he? Nice. What's up, Austin? Yeah. Anyway, welcome to, to all of you guys who uh, tuned in. I am here with my friend Jeremy, and um, we are here to talk about toys. Right on. Uh, yeah, uh, just one fun fact. I have been friends with Jeremy for two years now. Yeah. Has it been that long already? As per, as per, as per the messages that we had. So mm -hmm. I had to run through and yeah. Um, we could right have on. been friends you know, uh, be, even before that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So um okay uh i am i have a i have some sets of questions here that i'd okay. like to ask you personally sure. just just to get to know you more better yeah for sure. to know you better <laughs> yep and um okay my first question is when did you start collecting um so i kind of had like a gap so when I was a kid, I started collecting probably about the age of seven. And then I stopped when I was about 12 or 13. But then I got back into it back in 2016. I started collecting. And the first thing I started collecting was Marvel Legends. And okay. I just collected. I went over and crazy with them and just had a whole room full of them. And then I transitioned into one six scale back in 2020. And so okay. I ended up transitioning all my smaller figures up to one six scale, and I've been doing one six scale since then. Did Did you have to sell sell off your one twelves? I ended up doing that because um I had a daughter and back in two thousand seventeen, and so she took up a lot of room. And then with the one yeah. six scales, I just had just everything everywhere. So to get a little bit more organized, I, I just went to just one six scale only. It's hard because I'll see something smaller, 112 scale, and I'm like, oh, I want that. I'm like, no, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. So I only, I only uh, collect yeah, like that's that one. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, but in your profile, I still see some 112s. I do, and I have a but those pleasure. Are well, I still have them. Mm -hmm. like, so I still, like, there's some stuff I still have, and I have like a little box of them, but they're not on display anymore. Yeah, yeah but I just yeah, can't get rid of them. <laughs> Right, right. I understand. Um, can you still remember what's your very first one twelve scale figure? Yeah, it was a eighty nine Batman figure and Joker. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Because like I was really young when that movie came out, and like I love that kind of got got me into the collecting. Was Batman? You still have it or no? No, no. I, we moved around a lot as a kid, and I, I lost that thing a long time ago. I, I wish I had it. I actually want to buy another set of them if I can just for the nostalgia of it but yeah I don't have the original okay, okay. so I guess you have you answered my second question of huh. uh, who or what um, pushed you to into collecting it's because of the your you you, you fancy movies correct uh, yeah I love movies uh, I love comics uh, I've been reading comics since I was six and so yep. like the wow. big the big ones have been X Men and Batman are the big two, and so yeah. uh, you and I talk about we have a share of love for Gambit. So yes, yes, yeah. 
Yeah. Your top, top five X Men, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So, so what is your latest feature today? Ah, uh, um, I actually just recently got. I haven't even opened it yet, but <laughs> I got uh, this guy in the mail the other day, uh, about two days ago. So the Hot Toys Miles Morales. Morales, yeah. So I'm gonna nice. take him out later on and set him up and get him displayed up here. I'm going through like a, a change with setup and everything because I'm switching from uh, DTOF to Maji cases. So I have to do a lot of building. Okay. I, I have to do a lot of building and transition stuff. So a lot of movement in the next week or two. So hopefully we'll have that up for you guys and take pictures of it. Sweet. We'll yeah. be honored to see your photos. Yeah, right on. Yeah, Austin said, nice grab. I've been wanting to snack him. Yeah, true, true. true. Yeah, yeah, he's a hey, fun Austin, figure. Where, where are you? Yeah. Hey, Austin, where are you at at the moment? Are you back from your cruise? Um, so, uh, um, Justin, where where do you usually buy your, your 1612? Uh, your figures? 1612. I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. Uh, I buy some, I pre-order most of mine through Sideshow, but uh, I also buy through 1-6 Kit and um, oh. Lion Rock Toys mm -hmm. and 1-6 uh, Outfitters are the main okay. four that I buy from. So you, so you prefer those online um, sellers uh, from BBTS? Correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. BBTS, I, I kind of like sparingly with them, like, because um, I collect Enter Bay figures too. I like those a lot. And so for uh, BBTS, usually has those on pre-order or I'll go to Enter Bay to their side alone. But uh, I, I kind of just all over the place with ordering stuff. I don't really have a set one spot that I go to. Right, right, right. I've been also trying to check out BBTS. Most mm -hmm. of them do are priced higher. Than yeah, they are a little price high. They're priced a little higher. Yeah. yeah, that's partly why I don't, I don't go there because you can usually get them a little cheaper somewhere else, and so right. save you save you some save you some money because you know how that how it works in collectors in collectors world. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so do you have like a um a toy room? Mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned about removing your your detox, right? Yeah. So this um my toy room is basically my office. Uh, I work from home. So I'll give you guys a little tour. Nice. It's not too big, but this is, we're kind of in the nice. office right now. Yeah, so this Green is some of the magic, magic cases stuff that we're setting up. Let's see if you can. Yeah. So got some wow, of that stuff set cute. up. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still kind of unpacking that. I got still got some plastics on it. But then, mm -hmm. so I'm going to have, eventually we'll have uh, three more sets of, deep, of uh, magic cases set up up the wall. And then they'll take the places of these... Uh, detox as well okay did you call yeah. did you call it some magic um what what was that again what's that how'd you call them how'd you how'd you call the Which one? um magic cases did you say magic uh, cases oh the, they're maju cases yeah maju yeah. i mean uh, the one the one that's your back yeah the ones on back those are maju cases the m-u-d-u -U okay. case yeah yeah, so I like them okay. a lot because they think they're easy to set up and the lighting is really cool. So um, I bought three of them about four months ago, and then I like them a ton. So I'm basically going to go the whole wall of Maji cases. Wow! Eventually, eventually. So it's a project in progress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So the lightings, it came with uh, lightings, or you have to yeah. buy it separately. Yeah, so they come with, came um, with they came with the little spotlights, and you just essentially screw wow. them in on top, and you can angle them any way you want to. And um, they also have an adhesive where you can stick the wires so you can't see the wires. So it's really it's just really easy, right. really really easy. Yeah, right. That's that's nice. Yeah. Um, do you have any custom figures? Um, I have a couple actually. So I have. I'll pull this one out. Guys, we're so in for a treat. <laughs> so before I got uh, the Punisher, the Hot Toy one, I actually made my own. And so I made this one myself, uh, oh. one six scale. Um, the head sculpt's actually originally the Hot Toys one, but the body and everything else. And then I painted the, the vest because the vest is a little bit more um, 
faded on the original Hot Toys. So that's yeah. nice. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's the first one I've ever modded. So I've kept him since 2020. Even though I have the regular one, I just it's kind of a sentimental <laughs> one. So yeah, Amazing. this one and then and then uh, this one's a light mod. I just kind of uh, took out some of the stuffing in the body to make it a little thinner, so he's not so fat with uh, yeah. the thicker the thickness. But yeah, this is the other one I've done, and that's pretty much okay. all I have for the for my. Customs. Custom, yeah. Uh, have you have you considered making use of the um, TB League bodies uh, or no, the Fice? The Fice. I haven't thought about that. Yeah, I want. I've kind of like crossed my mind, but just to kind of invest the time into it and find time to do it. But it seems like a fun project. Yes, yes, yes. Re remember when you when we got the um, So So Toys Gambit, right? You have him, yeah. right? Oh yeah. I saw I saw one lady in in Facebook. Um, she she replaced the body with a uh, Fison body or a TBD okay. body, the M32. Okay. Yeah. And there, you good? Are you? Are oh, you, you okay? Me, man. I'm good. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you my, know, my internet went out a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Even mine. Yeah, she you froze. Took, she went on a fight somebody. Yeah, she used the M32 uh, tip fight somebody for the gambit. Okay. And um, she was nice. kind enough. She was kind enough to show the uh, the process on how she did it. And um, yeah, but I'm yeah. I'm too scared to do it myself. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, with that figure yeah. too because it's like my it's my favorite one i love that figure so I'm, i'd be I'd be scared to do it too <laughs> maybe a different figure but right, yeah right, that one right. that one's yeah that one yeah. i don't want to mess with it yeah i wanted to ask you about if you are doing kit bash but i don't think you can do that for the one six scale figures right uh, you can, I think, with some of them. Like I've seen different variations of Kid Bash figures that actually look pretty good. Uh, there's a few do uh, like a Steelbook. I think that's a Steelbook. Stefan, he does them over on 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 IG. I'll send you the link to him. He does some cool Kid Bashes okay. for for one six scales, like, and he paints his head sculpts and stuff. And he's awesome, awesome dude, awesome dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um... Do you have any characters? Do you wish? Uh, sorry, any characters you wish toy makers would make some one day? Oh, um, there's so many. <laughs> um, I know there's so many. Um, one thing I kind of would would like to see is I know it's been done, but like a one six scale uh, TNT eighty nine line. So like we have the NECA versions of the seven inch ones, but like in a one six scale version of them, I think would be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be cool. Or even a whole like if Hot Toys decided to or So So Toys did, like if they continue with the X Men line, like I would love to have like Wolverine with Gambit and Rogue and Jean Grey yeah. and Cyclops. Like a whole line would be super dope. Because wow. those are my those are my favorites, so I would pick those up in a heartbeat. To go with your gambit. Yes, right, right. But you know, it, you know, the pain of waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of waiting, to be honest. But yeah, yeah. I yeah. wish they make the whole X Men line. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I don't think, I don't think um, any of us are. <laughs> yes, yes. And um, I had to ask you about this. Do you have any toy line you want to collect, but you don't want to start collecting? Um. So Mayfax, because I love the way their figures look. And whenever, like, you you kind of got me hooked onto them because of the X-Men ones that you pulled out. <laughs> and I was like, man, I want to go down that road, but I don't know if I can go down that road. So <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. especially the X-Men ones that you have, like, those are so cool. Those are so cool. Oh, didn't you know that um, the, a Japanese company sent me an email today saying that mm -hmm. my Jean Grey Mayfax is ready to be released oh man that's awesome yeah that's awesome so that's I, ju awesome. Just, I just sent the payment and now i'm waiting for it so yeah nice. jean gray is coming up yeah oh, i can't wait to see um, a picture austin, of that one man yeah we'll do um austin said stephanie is so talented 
Yeah, the one, the guy you mentioned, Stefan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's super and he talented. said yeah. a black. He said a blackbird figure. A blackbird figure. Figure. Um. Yeah. That uh, we were talking about about it. Uh, in my previous live, um, okay. like they can make a um a Hasla blackbird. Okay. You know, and it has these tears, and um, yeah. it would be the parts of blackbird as the tears. So that'd be, yeah, because that'd be, hell, that'd be cool. Yeah, and it, that would be like a massive, uh, you know, blackbird if if yeah. you if they wanted to create that. Yeah. Oh hell yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. G Gambit zero three two six said those are so dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Um, so talk about toy photography. Mm -hmm. um, do you use props? Are you making dioramas? Or what's uh, your inspiration, basically? I am still a rookie with all that. Um, I mean, there's so many great ones that I follow. And so I'm still kind of learning. I don't really have too many di space for dioramas right now as much as I'd like them. But uh, mm -hmm. so I just usually do like headshots or small things. But I'm still learning with all that stuff, man. Like anytime I can get a tip from a pro, I'm always down to listen and stuff. But there's some yeah. really good, like really, really good toy photography out there that's just crazy good. But yeah, I'm still, I'm still learning. Yep. I'm still learning. And how, how about you? Yeah. Uh, so, um, me, I um, for the one six, it's hard to make use of diorama or a prop. So mm -hmm. uh, I'd usually use dioramas and props for the ones for my one twelves. And okay. I had I made a, a latest um, purchase from um, Extreme Sets. Okay. It's a subway diorama. So I still need to get that by the way. Okay. Oh, nice. uh, so how many hours do you allot for yourself in, in terms of, you know, taking photography or playing with your toys? Um, I, it varies every week just based on my work schedule and then um, I picking up my daughter from school and stuff like that. So it's kind of like my free time when everyone goes to sleep at night. It's kind of what I what I work yeah. on and do. Uh, that's the hobby. So uh, it, it ranges anywhere from 30 minutes sometimes to a couple hours. It just depends on, on how the day works out. Yeah, right. Yeah. Understandable. Yeah. Yep. Um, so do you have any favorite toy reviewer, especially for your 1.6 scale features? Oh. I do listen to Justin's collection a lot. Um, right. I like his a lot. Just, just his collection, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually he's the, yeah. my go-to. Dude then, uh, from Australia. Few... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a few that I listen to that are for like the third-party ones that aren't so popular. Um, that I, if there's like a figure that I want, I'll listen to, to what they have to say. Because there's a figure yeah. that just came out recently uh, from, I think, Blackgate Studios, the Snatch figure, the Brad Pitt one. And okay. I love okay. I love that movie. So I thought about getting it, and I'm kind of still on the fence mm -hmm. of like, should I buy it, should I not? Where would I put it at? So I'm kind of back yeah. and forth with that one. But I really like, it's mm -hmm. one of my favorite characters in movies. So uh, yeah, definitely may pick that one up. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, so what are your thoughts on the IG algorithm? If, if, if you are affected of it, are you? I'm still trying. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't understand how it works, man. I don't really understand how it works. So I'm still, I'm pretty new with technology and stuff. So I'm still trying to figure yeah. it out. Yeah. So I don't know. How about you? I think, I think when you sh you should start doing reels as well. Yeah. Yeah. I should. Yeah. I need to learn how to, I need to learn how to do reels. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Gaga, Gaga Bobo. Um, do you have um, what do you call this? Do you have any other social media platforms? Um, no, I'm just on a uh, IG. I do have another IG account. It's for my work. Um, mm -hmm. and it's uh, Royce Fitness at, at RoyceFitness dot com, uh, and that's for uh, my uh, my online work. But other than that, it's pretty much the only social media that I'm on. Okay, right, right, yeah. right, right. Wow. Um, okay. Um, I I wanted to ask this to all of my um, you know my friends. Um, what are the problems you encounter in toy collecting? Um, 
for me personally, like the biggest one is because I started collecting one six so late, uh, trying to get mm-hmm. figures that came out in the past for a decent price, just because like they go up in price so much. So kind of just being patient with that, but also too now with a lot of hot toys, like they're doing a lot of reissues, trying to figure yeah. out like what figures to wait for, what figures not to wait for. Because that's kind of my problem is I love a lot of things. So if I see something that I don't even collect comes out, and I'm like, oh, I like that. And then I'll get it. And then I'll yeah. go to my toy room and I'm like, all right, now where do I put it? <laughs> and then mm-hmm. it ends up getting stuck. And right. I end up, so I end up trading it to someone else or selling it or whatever. And I need to stop. I need to get stay more on my path versus okay. going, going everywhere. Going everywhere because – I'm horrible at that. I've done that so much over the last five years. I just, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. And yeah, so that's probably my biggest, my, my biggest problem. What about you? Okay. Uh, um, buying, buying stuff from, from, you know, from different places, different countries, mm-hmm. because here in, in Dubai, um, we don't have much of the, um, like, like the figures that we really want. The ones that okay. we have over here are the ones that are, you know, popular in the movies. We don't get okay. we don't get the ones that are really collectibles. Okay. Or you know, for the co- for the comic uh, version, comic figures, okay. we don't have unless oh, it's wow. in the movie. Yeah, we okay. can. And if ever we we have them here, it's super pricey. Okay. Times two the price. Times three the price. Wow. So uh, just like you, I buy from you know overseas. So that's my problem uh, with with the shipping. Shipping okay. fee, it's a killer. Oh man, yeah. I bet, I bet. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, what What's your future plan? Do you do you want, do you want to continue expanding your collection, or do you want to slow down, or do you want to stop? Um, definitely don't want to stop because I feel like every time they come out with something new, it just looks more detailed and improved, and so it just makes me want to keep collecting uh probably kind of figure out exactly what i want to collect and be more specific uh, versus right. just buying everything that comes out that i'm everything. like oh i like that yeah yeah uh, just being more specific because mm-hmm. like i told you like i said earlier just it, when i go to set up in my displays every nothing goes together or it's just you know i have marty from back to the future next to gambit and just like what's going on <laughs> So yeah, yeah. Kind of weird. yeah. So yeah, just trying to find some yeah. kind of kind of little bubble to stay in. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. So, what's the impact of toys on a personal level? Um, for me, uh, like collecting, like with comics and movies as a kid, I moved around a lot, so that was the most consistent thing I had as a kid. And it taught me a lot of like morals and stuff like that, just cause I never had a consistent home. So like mm. now that I'm older now and I have my daughter, she kind of gave me the love for it again. Cause the way she, you know, the kids play with toys and it kind of just like, when I come into my office, it just relaxes me when I have to work. Wow. Cause I have my, my setup and it's just like, it's cool. Like it's just that nostalgia of, you know, just liking what yeah. you have and a fun nostalgia. So, yeah, it's definitely yeah. more of a, it's definitely, it comes to my heart a lot because it's just, it kind of gives me a good place in my mental. That's true. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Our space. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want you to talk about the community as a whole. Okay. Uh, overall, like I've had really positive experiences. Like, I mean, I've got to meet you. I've got to meet. Uh, it's like uh, Stefan, he's from Germany. So like being able to communicate with people all over the world has been super cool. Like, I love, love that. I love that. That's one of, probably the best thing of it. But just also to just meeting people right. and right. that you would probably never talk to unless you had the hobby connection. So it just, it's cool. Right. It's cool finding like commonalities with everyone all over the world. And it's cool. I like it. I like the community a lot. Yeah. That's true. Um, yeah. w- within your area, which you didn't want to disclose. Um, mm-hmm. do, do you like meet with people within your area and you know? Um, in, um, I'm, still relatively to- new, I'm still relatively new to my area. I'm in Arizona, uh, in Arizona. Um, so I'm new to my area. I'm originally from California. I live most of my life there. So okay. but I do, I, I do like talk to uh, AZ Figs. He's a great guy. Mm-hmm. So if you're in the toy community, AZ Figs is awesome. Good dude. 
And like he, no. I mean, honestly, he keeps me educated and stuff because he knows that guy knows so much. And he's a he's a good yeah. dude. He's a good dude. So, yeah, he's local. Uh, he's pretty much the only one I've met locally so far. I'm still, like I said, I'm still kind of new. So I need to get yeah. out to t- toy shows more often and stuff like that and meet people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um. Hi. Hi, John. Okay. So, what is your takeaway? From the collecting hobby, if there's any, uh, aside from you, what you already mentioned, yeah, it's a, it's a fun hobby, but it can be a slippery slope. So have a plan, have a plan. <laughs> right, right, um, right. Yeah, it's it's very fun. It's there's so much cool stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely kind of be mindful of what you're uh, what you're collecting and and what you're doing, and you know you want to make sure that it stays fun and not stressful. That's true. That's true. Yeah, That's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, so in the toy collecting, collecting realm, mm-hmm. um, who do you think should drive the, the market? Should it be the um, us collectors or the toy makers? Uh, definitely us. I mean, because if you we're the consumer, so if if you don't if you don't have us, you don't have you don't have business. So exactly. I definitely think it's yeah. I think I definitely think it's us. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, they're pretty much. I mean, like I say, without us, there's no, there's no product. So that's right, that's right. Yeah. But but sometimes what's happening is um, when toy companies, you know, release a certain figure, mm-hmm. you know, um, even if it's not what we really like, or yeah. you know, it lacks on some, let's say, uh, on the head sculpt, on the accessories, on how it's mm-hmm. built, we still end up buying them. That's why. Yeah. This keeps, I mean, they keep producing, you know, sorry to say crappy, you know, um, yeah. crappy toys. Yeah. Because we still do buy them. But yeah, yeah. I think um, something has got to change. I think so. Yeah. yeah. That's one thing that I have changed because I was guilty of that. Like, because, like, for Gambit, mm-hmm. like, this, I remember you and I talked about because Sideshow originally released theirs first. And then, yeah. Hot Toy <laughs> you got it. So, I did because as soon as I seen it, I was like, "Well, we don't have a Gambit at one six scale, so I'm gonna buy it no matter what, no matter what it looks like. I'm gonna buy yeah. it." Yeah, yeah and yeah. so I yeah. ordered it, and then I got the the so so toy was the one. I'm like, "It's so much better, so much better." It's so much but better because you're yeah. at the mercy of the of the the, the company because the, you don't have that many Gambits, so you yeah, collect them no matter true. what. So yeah, I, right. I've definitely that's a lesson that I've learned over the last few years is. Be more patient, yeah. and if it's not something you really want, don't buy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, lucky for me, I was able to to wait to hold on to that gambit because when I saw the sideshow, yeah, obviously the the you know the face the the head sculpt was yeah. a turn off, and yeah. then suddenly so so toys came up with them, and you know the face sculpt the head sculpt was the you know the selling point for me. So I'm so glad I've waited. But I see also people saying that the sideshow one uh-huh. has its has its has it has its positive features. Oh, yeah. Some people would you know combine or switch the the accessories. So yeah, yeah like, there's a lot yeah. of the sideshow that I still like. I still have mine. Um, mm-hmm. I display the so so toes one, uh, but I like the I like the coat on the sideshow one. I like, yeah, the fabric, yeah. I like the fabric they used on it. So I mean, there are there are positive. It's not a completely horrible yeah. figure. But if That's I was true. gonna pick one or the other, I would have picked Soso Toys. But yeah, because I love Gambit so much, I just buy both of them. <laughs> so. Right, right. I understand <laughs> you on that. Yeah. yeah so. Okay, man. Um, this is my probably my last question to you. Okay. So, what is your treasured toy, money value aside? Um, that's a tough one. Um. <laughs> Man, that's a tough Gambit, one. Gambit, Gambit. Yeah, Gambit, Gambit is definitely. I kind of like. I, I have, I have him like literally right here, just hanging out, just hanging out with me. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm looking, I'm looking everywhere else, and I'm like, yeah, he's probably like my favorite. I mean, I've had him for over. I think he came out what earlier this year, right? The February or March. Uh, yeah, around that time. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, and... it's um. Did Did you say last year? Correct. Was it last year? I think no, wait, right. wait, I wait. Think, was it? 
Yeah. Time is blurred. I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, either, me too. Me too. Like I when I remember. opened him, it was just it hit like a child nostalgia for me, and I it's by far my favorite figure in my collection, just because Gambit's my favorite character. So, yeah, probably yeah. Gambit. Probably Gambit. So he is your most treasured figure yeah, at the moment. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. There's nothing I would trade or sell him for. Yeah, he's just he's like. So so would you sell your Punisher to me? Your, your Punisher? Punisher? Punisher. <laughs> oh, you hurt my See, soul, I, man. You hurt my soul. I know. That's my you first forgot one. About, you forgot about I Punisher. I did. I did. Oh, man. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I have another one in there. Ah, but yeah, because you, 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 yeah, you, you mentioned about sentimental value. And said, yeah. That was the one I was hoping you'd say. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, we're good. He's up, we're good. He's up there. Gambit and Gambit and Punisher are up there. Yeah, because I like Punisher too. Yeah. And yeah, so I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's my fault whispering on your ear. Gambit, Gambit, Gambit. <laughs> you pre pressure yeah. me. You pre pressure me. <laughs> yeah, I know, buddy. Okay, so we talked about your takeaway from the toy collecting hobby. Now I yeah. wanted to know what is your giveaway or what is it you're trying to contribute to the community if any um just try to be as helpful as people were with me like i was brand new to a lot of this thing i didn't know about hot toys or so uh, third party figures or how to pose a certain figure a certain way and i've been very fortunate that a lot of a lot of people in the community have been just nice and so returning that paying that forward just being as kind as well i mean if i have a figure that i'm not really using or like i'm not collecting i mean give it helping somebody out when i can and you know just being like just being just being positive in the community just trying to help out the community and like you said just contribute to it because we do have a good community and i want to keep it that way and it's a huge i'm surprised how big it is yeah and that was the eye opener for me back in 2017 when i started to do this on ig and stuff and like just mm -hmm. meeting people or like coming in contact with people like, oh, you collect that? I collect that. So I'm like, what? I didn't know it was that big. Or going to a toy show and just seeing the line outside the door. And it's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. But it's so cool. I think it's awesome. Right. right. Have, have you been to any um, Comic Cons? No, that's something I've always, that's a bucket list. I've always wanted to go to one. Mm -hmm. I've never been. I've been yeah. to a couple of toy fairs. And toy fairs. Uh, some, uh, I went to Anime Con in Sacramento back in 17 that was fun but i've never been to a comic-con i've always wanted to yeah right right so, um my, me as well um i've attended some i mean comic cons here in dubai but mm -hmm. i really wanted to you know attend the comic-con of all comic cons yeah, it, yeah which is, me too i guess the sdcc right yes. san diego comic con yeah. san diego so, comic con yeah. the mecca that one too. or <laughs> maybe, maybe a new york city comic con too that yeah, the work. New York one seems the New York one seems really nice too. So I, I'd be happy either one. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right. Okay, man. Uh, I I've exhausted my questions to be honest. Okay. Um, okay, this is just out of my head. So how many one six scale figures do you have at the moment? Probably about sixty two. What? Sixty two. Yeah. 62 and wow. I, I had more and i got rid of some just because the display is getting changed so and uh, like, like i told you earlier trying yeah. to blend stuff in a little bit better mm -hmm. but do, do yeah. you have some uh do you have some uh die cast iron man oh yeah yeah i have a i have a few of them i have a few of them set up i'll grab some okay. real quick uh, hi x-men legends Thank you for saying hi, and you know. Uh, yeah. Lighting's not too good out here, but so I have uh, the reissue Mark V that just came out. Sweet. Yeah, he's actually my favorite. Like, I mean, it's popular or popular, but he's my favorite Iron Man so far that I have. Uh, yeah. I only have about three or four of them, but he's my favorite. I I just love the way the suit looks. And I, Iron Man 2 is one of my favorite MCU movies. And then I have the uh, Battle Damaged. 85. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And this one's so well done, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard to pick favorites. I mean, 
These are probably my top two, though. Very favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're just Do, do, so do you cool. keep the batteries inside? I, so I have – I I put the batteries in and I take them out. I get nervous. Yeah, right. I get nervous with the batteries. So I take them out and then I just kind of – I usually display them this way. If I'm going to do, like, a shoot or something, I'll put the batteries in for the shoot. But I usually display them just, just this way. Yeah. Kind of boring, but – Yeah. 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 Do Do you have rescue? The I do not have rescue. Food. I do not have rescue. I need to track her down. I need to have. Uh, I, I, she's one of the last ones I have to collect. Um, I pre-ordered the War Machine, the reissue on that one, because that one looks yeah. amazing. So, mm -hmm. looking forward the, to that. The one. other Iron. I'm sorry, the other Iron Man is a reissue as well. Yeah. Uh, the Mark Five. The Mark Five. Yeah. 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 The is Mark it Five a reissue? reissue. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna reissue. It just came out. Yeah. Yeah, the, the first one wasn't diecast at all. Yeah, so I think they did a, like, there's, this is the third version of it. So they did, the first version wasn't diecast, and they did a second version back then, and it was diecast, and then this is the newer one. Yeah. And there's a few nice. different, like, different things. Like, the, the one that came out a ways back, the uh, arc reactor was a little bit, like, cracked and stuff, like, the more detail to it, and this one's just the clean yeah. one. Like there's little details yeah. like that, but I mean, I'm happy with it. I love it. I I think it's awesome. Okay. It looks good. It has a good presence. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how how many how many one twelve figures do you have? Right now, I probably only have eight. <laughs> I, I got rid of a lot of them. I got rid of a lot of them. Yeah. They're, yes. they're all like they're all the X Men ones. Like. Yeah. The homegrown. You have, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have really cut cut out on 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 one twelves. Yeah. yeah yeah okay so justin do you have any questions you want to ask me yeah how long, have you, been how, how long have you been collecting okay um well i've been collecting when i was uh no i'm sorry back in 2022 mm -hmm. i remember my um, toy Biz figures okay and then and then after that i really didn't don't know where to get them Okay. So I stopped for a long time, and um, in back in 2015, I got the very first, you know, Funko Pop Beast. Yeah. So from from there, it just you know continued up to now. So yeah. Got right on. Nice. And then, um, yeah, I, I've been I I'm with Instagram, and I met a lot of people. So I asked them where do they get this, and um, yeah, they I didn't really know about Hasbro. I didn't really know about any toy company before. I was, okay. you know, I don't have any idea. So, because I don't know where to get it, I mm -hmm. wasn't collecting. But once I learned where to get it, <laughs> yeah. just, you know, took off from there. So, right yeah. Uh, so, awesome. 2015 up to now. Yeah. So, okay. that would be like okay. seven years. Seven years. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. What mm -hmm. figure are you looking forward to that you're looking to get that you haven't got yet? Um, well... Um, since Mayfex, um, like, showed uh, the figure of um, Poison Ivy. Yeah. I, I, I want, um, the, the, the advanced PO for that hasn't been opened yet. So okay. I don't know when that's going to come out. So I really yeah. like that. Um, because it's, it's going to be a nice match for, for a McFarlane, the Swamp thing. So I was thinking about, yeah. you know. About, that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, and um, when I was browsing through all the Mayfex uh, figures, I really wanted, I kind of like to get Huntress and okay. the Nightwing. Yeah, the Nightwing uh, and the Huntress look yeah. cool. Yeah, so I'm thinking about that. I didn't pre-order, um, but I'm just waiting for um, Hobby Link Japan to have it. Okay. To get their, their stocks so I can okay. buy it. Okay. So yeah, um, yeah. And for Super Seven, you know Super Seven. Are you are you yeah. aware of Super Seven? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really like their Thundercats line, but I okay. haven't really <laughs> pulled the trigger on that. So I said, yeah, uh, let's just. Yeah, they're they're and another one that I for... see a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and and have you have you seen the Mondo figures? Yes, I actually just bought the <laughs> the one six scale Batman. Ooh, nice! Yeah, Joker, yeah, those are my my first okay. one I've ever bought from them. But yeah, 
Yeah, it, it's like a um, a grown a grown uh, Mayfex or ha um, Marvel Legends, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Have you have you seen their X Men line? The Wolverine one, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm looking for one. I'm looking for one right now because I've seen that and I was like, man, I have to have that. <laughs> um, I just hope. Jubilee. I just hope... The what? Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No. Go. No. Go. No. Go ahead. No, yeah, um, uh, Mondo Figures is coming up with Gambit. You know that, right? No, I did not you know that. You don't know that. They're coming up with Gambit. Yes. I'll send you the photo. Um, okay. Gambit, uh, Jubilee, and Magneto. Because they already oh, have Wolverine. Man. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, a, a, it's, it's a, a comic book. Uh, see, there, there I go down another, another hoop, another tube. Another rabbit I hole. know. <laughs> I know. But, but, but I, said, I said I'm just going to get... Uh, Mag uh, no, Gambit, perhaps. Uh -huh. Gambit and Rogue. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> because they're too pricey. I think it's... Yeah. How much is it? Um, I can't recall how much. Is it $250? I think they're uh, like one ninety. dollars how, how just the, uh, the Batman one I bought okay. was 199 $199. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so pretty much $200, so... Yeah. yeah, they are pricey, and that's yeah, why I, like, I don't want to go. I, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. But if you're telling me they're gonna come out with Jubilee and Gambit, and man, <laughs> gonna have to work overtime. <laughs> yes, I, I can't believe you haven't seen that. <laughs> no, um, no, I, I haven't seen it. Yet. Carl uh, Regalado. What's up, yeah. Carl? Hi, Carl. Hi, Mike. another good guy. Yeah. Another good guy. Oh, really, Carl? You know him? Yeah, Carl's a good guy, man. He's actually one of the first guys I've met on here, and he helped me a lot with photography and stuff. And he's a good dude, good guy, right. good guy. Okay, man. I like I said, I'm I run out of questions. Oh, uh, good, man. It's been it's been fun chatting yeah. with you, man. Talking to you. Yes. Uh, so I didn't really want to take much of your time. I know you're a busy guy, and it's I your weekend. I appreciate you. I appreciate <laughs> you. It's, yeah. Is it not your weekend? Are you not yet to work? Say again, sorry? Are you working this weekend or are you off? No, no, I'm off. I'm off uh, till tomorrow, Sunday, so. Okay. All right, well, enjoy oh, the rest. Baron. Hey, yeah. Baron. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, did he ch you changed your name or something? I think he has two profiles. Oh, he has two profiles. Okay. He has two okay, profiles, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Baron was with us um, the the collaboration video that we did back in 2020. He's he's, he's there. I remember. Oh, okay. I don't know if I invited you. I think I invited you. I'm not sure. I did think I, I, was, I was when I was. I just started my Instagram for collecting in 2020. So I may have been really really. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, because okay. yeah, I was really really yeah. green. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember seeing the collaboration. That was really cool. Like what you guys did was awesome. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, awesome. exactly. That's why I, that's why I wanted to do IG live as well, because mm -hmm. I was thinking of um, when we did that collaboration back in 2020. Um, so yeah. I, I was thinking of something. What else can we do? Uh, what What else can I do? You know, to to put people together. Yeah. Um, and then I, I got inspired by someone else. You know, doing IG lives, and I thought, mm, I think this is something I can do. So yeah, that's. Right. You are, you are. I think my my twelfth um, guest now. Okay. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Nice so, man. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, um, Carl said, uh, "Yes, sir. I miss you. You see you all on the other side. Enjoy the project. <laughs> Grateful to be a part of that." Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, Justin, mm -hmm. any uh, any more questions? Any or anything else you want to say? Before we say goodbye. <laughs> no, I think that's it. Thank you for having okay. me. I appreciate talking to you. It's it fun. Yeah. It's fun. It's my first IG live I've ever done. So, thank you. Very nice. Well, I'm I'm honored to ha to have you. You know, to be your first IG nice. live, uh, and I just like to thank you for your time. You know. Oh no, thank you. I appreciate uh, you. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, it. And we'll talk. I mean, we've oh, been yeah. talking, you know, once oh, in yeah. a while. In send me those pictures of the Mondo because you just blew I my will. mind, man. You just blew my mind. <laughs> I will get 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 your wallet ready. 
Gosh, tell me about it. <laughs> All right, man. Okay. Take care. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, bye-bye. Thank you so much. Hey guys, thank you for all who tuned in. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for you know joining in and saying hi. Um, thank you so much, guys. Um, well, I'll speak to you all soon. Later, bye, guys. <laughs>